So we have the um, we have four tracks that are here, and we realized that we had a gap, and then we had another four sets, a gap, another four sets, and then in front of it there was a gap and four sets. So we have an isolated four. With those isolated four, we have um, two tracks that are in the very front of the four, and then we have two tracks that are that are past that. And in the locomotion of the animal, um, the first thing that's going to come down are the front feet. So the front is going to land, and then the next front, and then the rear are going to follow, and then the rear are going to come in here and here, and then it's going to keep moving. So, so you have front, front, rear, rear. Uh, what's interesting is you got this right here, this measurement right here, this gap, this um, area of, of these two front feet are longer because the front um, legs are longer. And then you've got the two rear up here that are shorter. I don't know if you can see that on the film, but these are shorter because the hips are shorter and so there's uh, there's less of um, 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 there's less space that they actually can cover so even if we couldn't see complete you know the size of this track and the size of this track are bigger than these um, even if we had no definition of toes or claws we could still make this um, you know this theory and um, and a lot of times most of the time um, it's accurate so I just wanted to share that so this is uh, learning a little bit about animal tracks and gates